Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be swatching and reviewing three out of the four new Stunna lip paints by Fenty Beauty. So if you didn't know, Fenty Beauty recently did Stunna Week where they released four new shades of their lip paints. So as soon as I saw them on Instagram, I bought them like right away. <laughs> That's mostly because I don't have any self-control, but also because they all looked really nice. So I was like, might as well. Um, so I have three of the shades. I have Unveiled, which is a chocolate brown. Uncuffed, which is like a mauve rosy color. And then Unbuttoned, which is a pale kind of nudish color. The black shade, it's called Uninvited. It just came out yesterday, but honestly, I didn't think I would get any wear out of it. So that's why I didn't buy it. But their formula is pretty well known for being like awesome. So if you want to try out a black or if you just generally wear black lipstick a lot, I would say definitely check it out. But just going off of the website, the description that they have in general for all of the Stunna lip paints is that they are a weightless 12 hour liquid lipstick with a soft matte finish born in a range of head turning shades that look incredible on all skin tones. So speaking of looking good on all skin tones, the first color that I have is Unbuttoned. That is this one right here. And honestly, I don't know about this one, okay? Like, I I really don't know if this is gonna look good on me. I saw it on Rihanna in the ads and I was like, ooh, ooh. But also, she looks good in everything, so according to her makeup artist, Priscilla, Rihanna is shade 330 in Fenty and I'm 360. So we're not too far apart, but I am still darker than her. The Fenty website describes the color as a peachy nude. And that's it. Like, you know how some websites go on and on and on about how this one color is going to change your life? They didn't do that. They just said, it's a peachy nude. You see the pictures, buy it if you want it. That's it. Okay, so just looking at the bottle, I'm not sure if I could work it. Like, if I could put it down, flip it, and reverse it, you know? Like, I really don't know, so I'm kind of scared, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to try it without a lip liner first. Even though I don't think I'll like how it looks without a lip liner, I still want to try it. Oh, and also I have nothing on my lips right now. So one thing that I noticed right away is that it doesn't seem to be as opaque as the OG Stunna lip paint is. The uncensored, the like infamous bright red. This formula for Unbuttoned, maybe just because it's a lighter color, I don't feel like it's as opaque. And it's not that it's patchy, I just think you have to work with it a little more to build it up to full opacity. It's not really a color that I would wear on its own, but if you want to, go ahead. But for me, I just... I wouldn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a brown lip liner over kind of just the outer edges and see if maybe we can get something a little a little less like this. Okay, so now that I've added the lip liner, I definitely like it a lot more. I think it would be a good color if you have like really really intense eye makeup and you just want to keep your lips neutral. I think this is definitely the way to go. So while it does kind of look like an upgraded version of foundation lips, I think it does it in a good way. Um, one thing that I did want to do is I wanted to try putting the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm over it, just to see. And I think with colors that are this light, if you think that they do kind of look like foundation lips, you can just put on a lip gloss. I think the gloss definitely helps a lot. I like how it looks more with a gloss than without one. Obviously, do what you want. I don't have too many colors like this in the, my collection of lipsticks that I already have. For that reason, I'm gonna keep using it. Yes, I definitely do like this color and I would recommend it if you are similar to my skin tone. The next color that I'm going to swatch is Unveil because I want to save the rosy pink one for after because that's the one that I'm planning to wear all day. So that's why I'm not going in order of lightest to darkest. So like I said before, this one is described as being a chocolate brown. And again, that's all they say on the Fenty website is just chocolate brown. And I think this would be really, really gorgeous as a nude on someone with a darker skin tone. So for example, if you guys watch Nima Tang, I think this would look 
so gorgeous on her like I'm getting excited thinking about how nice it would look on her so again I have nothing on my lips and let's just go in and see what happens Ooh, it made a weird noise <laughs> I really love this color. What I also love about these is, as you saw, I only needed to dip in once and that was enough to cover my lips. Then again, my lips are about as thick and juicy as a piece of literal paper. Oh, hell no. But that's fine. Like, I'm not mad at that because all that means is that I'm really getting my money's worth. So one of these does retail for $24. However, that would last you a very long time considering that you do only need to dip in once. So going back to the color, I really, really like this one. I think it's going to be perfect for winter because it's not too cool toned that I look actually dead. I know my mom would hate this lipstick because she just, she hates dark lipstick. And that's the other thing is, you know, when people are like, oh, dark lipstick makes you look scary. I'm like, Good. Be afraid. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, overall, I do really like this color. It kind of makes me feel like I can like choke someone out. Which is like usually a negative thing, but when you're wearing dark lipstick, that's kind of how you want to feel. Like you want to feel, I guess, powerful, and that's how this makes me feel. So definitely like it. 10 out of 10. Go buy this one. Never something that you never think. Something that you never think. Last but not least, I have Uncuffed, which is this one right here. And can we talk about how this name is like a whole mood? If you don't know, right now is cuffing season. Yet, here I am, Uncuffed. Everything is awesome. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. I am fine, don't worry about it. So on the Fenty website, this is described as a rosy mauve, mauve mauve. I don't know how you want to say it, it doesn't really matter. Judging by the pictures that I saw, it looks like this is going to be right up my alley. I have a lot of shades very similar to this and it's kind of like that Kermit the Frog meme where the good Kermit is like, you already have a lipstick that's this color and then the evil one is like, but this one has different undertones though. Like that's me. When I buy lipsticks, that is me. I don't think I'm going to need a lip liner with this one so I'm just going to go right in and see. I'm going to try to be extra precise because this is the one that I wanted to wear to work. The Fenty applicator is very, very good for precision. Then again, I do have two brain cells and it's kind of hard for me to do anything precisely, but I'm going to try. I don't want to rush into it if it's too soon, but I know you need to get done, 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 done if you come over. Sorry if I'm way less friendly. I got niggas trying to end me all. Yeah, I spilled out. So this is what Uncuffed looks like when it's on. And I'm thinking, okay, this is this is like my theory, conspiracy theory. Maybe it's called uncuff because like once you put it on, people are going to want to cuff you. You know, Rihanna, you think of what I'm thinking? No? Okay. Well, at least for me, the name kind of makes me laugh because if you're Caribbean, if you say like you want to cuff someone, it means like you want to punch them. Like, boom, 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 boom. You know, so it kind of makes me laugh. But other than that, I really do like the color. The only thing I do want to say is that it looks more purple in person than it did online. So I'll throw up some of the photos right here so you can look at how it looked on the models and then how it looks on me. It's not a bad thing necessarily. I just think it leans more towards the mauve side than the pink side. But it's not bad. I do like it and I'll probably wear it a lot in the future. So like I said, this is the color that I want to wear for the rest of the day. It's currently 3.10 p.m. So when I get home, it'll be close to 10.30, but I'll try to update you guys while I am at work so you can see how it's wearing, if it's like flaking off or doing anything weird. But yeah, I really do like this color. I think if you are similar to my skin tone, if you want to get one of them, I'd probably go with this one because it seems pretty versatile and it seems like a good nude for us. That's it for now, but the next time you guys see me, I will probably be at work. So I just got home and as you can see the lipstick wore pretty well. I'm just gonna do a creepy little creepy little close-up. Um yeah, it didn't fade at all, which says a lot because in the time that I applied it until now, oh and by the way, now is 10:35. I ate, I brushed my teeth. I talked a lot at work just to like customers, coworkers, and then I ate again. So considering I did all of that and it's been pretty much, it's been almost exactly seven hours now, I think this is really, really good. If you like any of the colors that you saw in the video and you are similar to my skin tone, if that's why you watched this video to see how it would look on someone similar to you, 
I would say definitely get them. If you want to get all three, do it because they look really good. But if you can only get one, then obviously pick which one you like the best. But all of them are good. I definitely recommend them. Um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!